dear students welcome back uh, to my uh, second video on limits fits and tolerances before i go ahead with my present uh, lecture i would like to recap what was being discussed in my previous video let's have a discussion regarding uh, the various types of limits fits and tolerances their nomenclature as can be seen from this video the pdf file shows you the naming uh, nomenclature of whole bay, holes and the shafts as can be seen let us observe 45 e8 uh, 45 e8 e7 this is capital e8 and this is small as can be seen here 45 represents the basic size capital e represents the hole with a it tolerance of 8 grade uh, e small e represents the shaft it grade 7 so effectively this is represented as 45 um, e8 e7 it can be 45 a b c d e f g right up till h or it can as well be p q or any any hole can be of any dimension or any uh, grade it 8 it grade start from 0 it 0 1 it 0 it 1 right up till it 16 there are totally 18 grades one can have different possible combinations like 45 h6 g7 45 h8 r6 45 e5 p7 uh, so on and so forth es represents the upper deviation ei represents the lower deviation look at this let us understand what is fundamental deviation this part this distance is known as the distance between the nominal size and the lower limit of the hole and distance between the nominal size and upper limit of the shaft this is called as the fundamental deviation this is upper deviation this is lower deviation again upper devi lower deviation and upper deviation and also please observe the nomenclature a to h h shaft and h hole uh, they have a fundamental deviation for h shaft here can you see this please just a minute let me enlarge this h shaft as can be observed here h shaft the fundamental deviation is zero g has some minor deviation f has a minor but as you can see the positive side deviations and then similarly for m n o m is almost touching the um, basic size but p q r as you move downwards the deviation is negative this is negative deviation for the hole exactly opposite is the uh, deviation for the shafts see here uh, h shaft has the fundamental deviation as zero as you move down a, a, a go right up till a shaft a b a is the one which has got the highest fundamental deviation next comes b next comes d likewise up till h but all the deviations are minus deviations yeah, that means the shaft size is less than the nominal size next than the basic size uh, in this case hole size is right up till h right up till g hole the hole size or the minimum size of the hole is more than the basic size but if you move towards uh, uh, the other side from M N P Q R S, as can be seen the fundamental deviation goes on negative for h holes excuse fundamental deviation for uh, shafts from uh, mnopq they move on the positive side that means shaft size is bigger than the nominal size both the size uh, both the values that is lower deviation and upper deviation are on the positive side this is lower deviation and upper deviation is on the negative side okay now limits of size this was discussed functional requirements interchangeability economy in production and cost all put together representation i also represented in my previous uh, discussed about the tolerance grades it01 it0 it1 right up till it16 and what does the uh, what is the significance of it01 it0 it1 to right up till 16 it16 represents the primitive or the roughest manufacturing methodology that could be said as in today's times is nothing but you know, sand casting it15 represents something better than sand casting with a better finish sand casting that is die casting stamping likewise when you move lower in the order uh, it12 it13 it14 these are metal forming processes which give you better tolerances then we come on to drilling rough turning uh, using drilling machines of course and the lot late it10 gives you the milling slotting planing rolling and extrusion 
then comes IT9, IT8. Likewise, when you move higher up in the order of IT grades, the tolerance given is, is very less, less and it goes on reducing. As you can see, IT01 and IT0 are having super finished products or super finishing processes like lapping, diamond boring, etc. These are used exclusively for gauges, manufacturing of gauges or super fine finished products. Uh, 86 represents uh, grinding, that is super fine grinding using a grinding machine, high end grinding machine, CNC machines, precision turning, boring, IT7. Our turning, uh, lathe machine turning, or uh, mm, CNC turning somewhere comes in the range of IT7, IT8. Okay, and uh, uh, in Indian standards for likewise in any uh, like in any case of uh, engineering and uh, uh, even in metrology, the uh, limits, fits, and tolerances are classified or based on Indian standards IS 919 in 19, defined in 1963 or IS it is termed as IS 919 as can be represented, the holes up to diameter size, there are, there are diametral steps 0, 1 to 3, 3 to 6, 6. these are standard diametral steps. Uh, this has been done in order to see that interchangeability is being done easily, we can replace the components and the diameter or the shafts or the holes. So we the standard sizes are uh, at standard diameter steps available, I will discuss that again further, 0, uh, 1 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to, 6 to 9, 9 to 18, 18 to 30, 30 to 50, 50 to 80, 80 to 120, 120 to 150 and 150 to 300 if I am not mistaken. The last part I do not remember, uh, 150 to 200, 200 to 500 maybe. Anyway, that will be seen later. Uh, students are expected to remember this uh, diametral step. The various designations of holes represented are A, B, C, D, A, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F likewise right up till Z, A, Z, B and Z, C. It may also be, similarly we have shaft dimensions, uh, they are all small letters, A, corresponding small letters, A, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, etc. Okay. This was all discussed in my previous um, lecture. One sec. Yes, coming back to uh, today's further discussion, the next part that we are going to discuss is the types of fits. There are three types of fits basically. Uh, one is clearance fit, another is interference fit, third one is transition fit. Clearance fit, a classic example being bearing, classic example being uh, piston and a cylinder arrangement, where there is a clear cut, uh, uh, there is a clearance between the, the piston and the cylinder, clearance uh, between the bearing shaft and the bearing. The clearance could be small clearance, medium clearance or large clearance depending on the application. Say in case of uh, the piston and the cylinder, it runs in microns or it runs in 0 0.1, 0 0.01 mm maybe. The cylinder will be slightly bigger by the uh, by the size of 0 0.01 mm or 0 0.001 mm and the piston is smaller in size by 0 0.001 or 001 mm. Uh, the close tolerance, close tolerance but still it is a clearance fit. Uh, Interference fit is the one force fit, it is also called as a force fit where we one needs to um, forcibly fix uh, the hole into the shaft or shaft into the hole. Uh, the classic example here is uh, fixing a nail into the wall, one, uh, this rivets, rivet fit is a interference fit where one needs to fit the rivet or uh, force the rivet into the rivet head, uh, rivet hole. Another is transition fit, a classic example for transition fit could be our uh, um, ball pins, see when it is a f fit which will not directly go inside and start rotating, uh, the cap here is slightly bigger, uh, slightly uh, almost the size of the shaft and the hole. So you need to press fit this, uh, but it can be easily removed. So this is a kind of what we call as a transition fit, a fit where the hole and the shaft are almost the same size, almost the same size. There is no movement, free movement between the hole and the shaft. In case of clearance fit, you do have free movement of the hole and the shaft, between the hole and the shaft. Okay. Now, look at the shaft. Uh, this is a shaft, A shaft, as I said, there are different types A, B, C, D, E, F, right up till G. 
a shaft is the one a shaft is the one where you have a nominal size you have a base size uh, you have minimum um, uh, you have the tolerance you have uh, uh, basic size you have uh, uh, maximum deviation you have got minimum deviation fundamental deviation deviation closest to the basic size or the location of the uh, fundamental uh, on the uh, location of the fundamental deviation on the block is called as fd international tolerance grades as i said smaller deviation larger deviation it0 it1 as you reach up till it16 the it16 is the one which has got maximum deviation it0 is the one uh, having the least or the smallest deviation please note a very important concept whole base system and i did discuss this in my earlier class but the uh, earlier video as you can see keeping the whole size fixed varying the size of the shaft is called as a shaft based system basic shaft system with indication of three types of fit this is a clearance fit this is a transition fit this is an interference fit interference fit because the shaft size is bigger than the hole size the minimum size of the shaft is bigger than the maximum size of the hole can you observe please this is minimum size of this is the maximum size of the hole this is minimum maximum a uh, minimum size of the shaft this is maximum size of the shaft in case of clearance fit the maximum size of the shaft is smaller than the minimum size of the hole can you see this minimum size of the hole this is the maximum size of the hole this is a clearance fit and in between lies this transition fit where one of the tolerance is less or it could be in between or it could be higher where this tolerance is more than the maximum size but smaller uh, lower deviation is less than the maximum size so it results in a transition fit exactly opposite is hole based system normally industries follow hole based system because keeping the hole the cylinder is constant we can keep changing the it is relatively easier to change the shaft than the hole as can be seen here again you have got three fits clearance fit transition fit and interference fit as can be seen in case of, this is a hole based shift uh, system this is the shaft this is the base minimum size of the uh, shaft, uh, shaft this is the maximum size shaft this is a transition fit because the minimum size of the shaft is more than the maximum size of the hole see this is maximum size of the hole this is minimum size of the hole but shaft is much more than that that means it results in a transition heavy transition fit so uh, in this case uh, in, uh, sorry no not transition fit i'm sorry clearance fit hole is uh, bigger this is shaft is smaller zero line next comes uh, transition fit and then finally the uh, clearance fit or interference fit tolerance zone for hole can you see here this is the minimum size this is the uh, tolerance zone for the shaft this is maximum size this is the minimum size Forty H eight represents where forty represents the basic size. H represents the fundamental deviation, and uh, tol this is a total tolerance zone. And eight represents the IT grade. Forty H seven small H seven here again same thing. This is fundamental deviation, and this is IT grade. F students, friends, have a look here. Fundamental deviation of the shafts up to size of five hundred and uh, between five hundred to three thousand one fifty mm. can be found out using this formula these formula and the form the fundamental deviation formula will remain the same except for the sign you don't have to hard the sign if you simply remember the chart simple chart that is please note um, this is the basic size h holes right up till a to h hole all the deviation is positive now shaft please come to the shaft part all the shafts from a to h h shaft has fundamental deviation H, h hole and h shaft fundamental deviation is zero all the shafts from a to h shaft say a to g shaft i can say are negative in direction it is minus that is exactly mentioned here look d is negative this is a shaft d hole is positive this is positive e shaft is negative e, sh e hole is positive now just come back to hole again think in your uh, uh, think logically think in the mind the graph or the chart goes this way so any hole which is represented by m n o p q right up till z their deviation moves below zero line that means the deviation is negative as can be observed here please look 
m negative n negative p negative right up till all the values will become negative but come come to the shaft part of it shaft chart all the shafts which are having nomenclature m n o p q right up till z they are all above uh, nominal size line or the base line that means they are positive that means can sign for all the fundamental deviation is positive as can be seen here you don't have to remember the formula you don't have to remember the sign just remember the chart that is good enough all the uh, holes so ranging from a to h the fundamental deviation is always positive all the uh, holes with m to z uh, all the fundamental deviations are on the negative side all the shafts from a to h their fundamental deviation is minus all the uh, shafts with a fundamental deviation from, uh, with a nomenclature m to z will have positive deviation okay that apart normally uh, the fundamental deviations are already uh, given in the examinations uh, you don't have that, but some two or three basic uh, fundamental deviation it is to be remembered for def it is better uh, 16d to the power 0.44 11 d to the power 0.41 five what is this d i will let you know and you have to be very careful in substituting the value of d diameter here what is a nominal diameter what is the calculated diameter we need to check i is equal to yes now uh, among all this what is this i i is called as fundamental the, the i is called as tolerance which is 0.45 into cube root of d cube root of d plus 0 0.001 d where unit of tolerance is in microns that is 0 0.001 mm and d is called as the geometric mean of the lower and the upper diameters of a particular diametral step within which the chosen diameter d lies so the di standard diametral steps have been defined those are as i said 1 to 3 3 to 6 and likewise i will discuss that further with which chosen d lies in order to find out the d the geometric mean we need to find out the square root of d1 and d2 that is termed as capital d please note this this is the capital d we have to we should not confuse this with the nominal diameter nominal diameter is different value it01 international tolerance grades it01 it0 it1 values for d is 0.3 plus 0 0.008 into d this d is got from calculation root of d1 plus d, d1 into d2 again 0 0.5 0 0.0012 likewise but then students are inter, uh, are advised to remember uh, the basic uh, tolerance grades at least four or five tolerance grades you need to remember it5 is 7i next 10i 16i 20i 25i 40i it10 is 64i it11 is 100i it12 is 160i it13 250 and as you move up till it16 1000i please observe here what does this value mean 7 10 16 25 40 and multiplied by i value is constant which means i is nothing but the tolerance i is 0.45 into root cube root of d plus 001 d into d where d has been found out already d1 and d2 now if you observe this carefully it means that as you move from lower it grades to higher it grades the tolerance is increasing which eventually other way if you look at it thousand i is the one which has got a maximum tolerance that means this is a primitive or the lower order of our manufacturing systems uh, machineries it could be casting it could be uh, the other uh, processes or in case of it15 when you come down to better processes like lathe you can say 160i 160i is much much better there is a very low tolerance when compared to 1000i next when you come down to it9 it8 say it6 it7 is something like um, grinding operation which has got a very very small tolerance that means it is giving you better operations we uh, better finish better finish with a lower tolerance um, it16 uh, 16i okay so please understand this uh, concept of it values from zero uh, uh, it 010 it1 are extremely super fine scientific and engineering applications or it could be used for gauge and uh, uh, you know, gauge design and uh, metrological uh, high end applications but otherwise most of our applications are lie between it5 to it16 Uh, upper and the lower deviation for shaft are represented as es and ei upper and lower deviation for hole are des designated as capital es and capital ei the fundamental deviations can be calculated with the help of some formula you students need to remember all this please 
Mm. Let us get going with a straight away the solution. That makes the life, uh, that makes us, this is where I am particularly interested. I want the students to know uh, clearly the way how to solve the um, limits, fits and tolerance numericals. First and the foremost, I is 0.45 cube root of D plus 0.001D. This formula is valid for shafts and holes up to the size of 500 mm. Most of our engineering applications lie within a diametral size of 500 mm. Say for example, if you want the diameter, for, uh, supposing the nominal diameter size, size is given as 60 mm. 60 mm diameter steps uh, uh, would be, uh, lies in the step of 50 to 80. Maybe in a due course of time, I will uh, uh, discuss or I will give you uh, the di standard diameter steps, but it can as well be noted now. Diameter steps are 1 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 8, uh, 6 to 9, 9 to 18, 18, 9 to 18, 18 to 30, 30 to 50, 50 to 80, 80 to 120. 120 to 150 and 150 to 300. Okay, so come back to this. Find out the uh, D value. Standard D value is become uh, will be equal to root of the range is for 60 mm lies between 50 to 80. 50 plus 80, uh, 50 into 80. Sorry, this is a mistake here. 50 into 80. The value will come down uh, come to about 63.25 mm. I value is given by 0.45 cube root of D plus 0 0.001 please calculate this you will get ha huh, one more important part in this aspect d value what you get here is in mm and you need to substitute the d value in mm what you get i value is in micron please don't get confused d value is always substituted in millimeters i value is always got in microns so 1.865 microns in the sense i is equal to 0 0.001865 mm students i repeat once again please see that while calculating a diametral value d d is always got by the root of d1 d2 where d1 and d2 are diametral steps and they are mentioned in or they are substituted with a unit of millimeters and i when you get i is equal to uh, 0.45 cube root of d plus 0.001 Point, uh, point 0.45 into cube root of d plus 0 0.001 into d where please substitute d value in mm and i value what you get is in microns this is where uh, i see students making a mistake of either conversion from d to uh, d value from millimeters to microns or converting the i value from my microns to millimeters or finally putting i values in millimeters no this formula is standard i is equal to 0.45 cube root of d uh, plus 0 0.001 into d where d is substituted in millimeters and the answer you get is in microns very simple very simple okay tolerance for shaft i7 uh, f7 let us assume you have been given with a shaft of f7 i value stands for so tolerance for f7 grade would be it7 please note let me go back IT7 16i. Can you see here? IT7 means 16i. I have, we know already we have found out i. So just multiply it by 16. You should be able to get 16i value. Yes. Can you see here? IT uh, 16i. 16 into 1.685. That is 0 0.030 mm. Please calculate. You will get this value. For whole H8. So that means 8 is IT grade 8. IT grade 8 means the i value for from the table i've seen already just a minute i can show you again it8 stands for 25y yes can you see this it8 is 25i all you need to do is it grade 25i uh just a minute 25y 25 into 0 0.0018 and please substitute this in millimeters don't change don't make it a mm uh, convert the answer what you get is 20, uh, sorry sorry uh, please keep it in mm 0 0.001865 25i 0 0.00 what you get is 0 0.046 mm i value is standard 0 0.001865 can you see this here earlier the answer you get is in uh, microns convert that into millimeters and use that this is 25 i 25.001865 so this is in mm again i'll come back to the units i will show i will give i will make the things very very clear here 
because of the limitation i cannot write i cannot show you the bold uh, i am finding it difficult to explain the importance of substitution and the units proper units nevertheless i will try to explain once more due course of time i'll try to figure out how it's how best i think i have uh, so i will share one uh, screenshot with you where the entire now steps from 1 to 8 or 10 steps i have made i will show you later how to solve this nevertheless we will continue next fundamental deviation of the shaft uh, for, uh, since the design is based on the whole basis the fundamental deviation of the hole is zero fundamental deviation for the shaft is minus 5.5 d to the power 0.41 uh, we know the value of d 63 please don't ever use the nominal size we have to use the calculated dimension uh, diameter value d value that is 63.25 raised to the 0.41 and for uh, EF shaft obviously the deviation is negative just please remember A, B, C, D up to EF, EF shaft is below XY line right up till EH shaft all the deviations are negative so you don't have to remember the sign just imagine the curve uh, EF hole is above that is positive deviation EF shaft is below nominal size so it is negative deviation so minus 30.114 microns or the value what you get here is in micron straight away even though you substitute d value in millimeters the value of uh, fundamental deviation that you get is in microns okay now once these values are found out higher limit is equal to basic size minus fundamental deviation 61 you can draw the sketch i'll show you the sketch later uh, straight away you can find out what is the f shaft the two values uh, please imagine F shaft, the shaft is lying below the XY line, so both the uh, upper and the lower deviation must be negative, negative value. So one value is 60 is the nominal size, 60 minus 0 0.30, uh, that comes 59.97. Another is 59.97 and minus the fu uh, fundamental deviation, uh, sorry, uh, no, no, minus tolerance. Lower uh, the upper deviation minus the tolerance, that will give you, tolerance is 0 0.03 mm, that has been calculated here, yes. This is a tolerance. Can you see here that uh, total uh, the fundamental deviation for the shaft is equal to minus 5.5 d to the power point. This is one, and then you need to calculate uh, the tolerance minus 59.94. We will see again during the um, yeah. Here I can show you. We will uh, discuss further. Hole is lower limit is equal to basic size because it is a H hole. Basic size is fundamental deviation is zero, so 60 mm. Higher limit is nothing but lower limit plus tolerance. The uh, I don't know which uh, which H shaft has been used there. So the for tolerance was 0 0.046 mm. So the upper deviation is 60.046. So the tolerance for the hole is 0 0.046 mm. Tolerance for the shaft is 59.97 uh, minus 59.9. <coughs> excuse 97 minus 59.94 that is something of the 0 0.03 mm okay now let us start uh, solving this is where the uh, real fun starts for solving the problem i would like to con come to this i will stop this video now i will uh, take up this problem in my next uh, uh, video systematically we will all uh, look forward to that I am more excited. My very purpose of developing this video is to discuss this. Since it is difficult to um, show the uh, type this example, what I have done is I have uh, uh, solved this problem by myself. I have scanned those and I have uploaded here. Please let me know in case there is any mistake. I have checked it again and again. Maybe uh, please excuse me for uh, 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 the rough uh, handwriting that you may see here. It was not intended to be presented for a um, YouTube video. Nevertheless, I have uploaded to make the thing, make it easier. I will uh, solve this problem in my next video. And uh, we will go ahead with solving two or three problems. And uh, I'm pretty sure uh, we will be able to understand the whole base system and the shaft base system in a, uh, sorry, uh, the solutions, analytical solutions in a, um, so solving how to solve the problems associated with limits, fits and tolerances in a better way. Uh, I look forward to your uh, comments in the comment section. Uh, positive comments are always uh, uh, are always uh, appreciated. I do look forward to uh, any uh, flaws. This is my second video. Obviously, there is a lot, a lot of scope for uh, improvement. 
I would like to do that. Well, I do have some limitations of uh, my presentation. Nevertheless, I look forward to my next presentation. I will uh, prepare that. I will uh, upload it very shortly. Thank you. Thank you all.